Okay, welcome back here, gun fans. This is Derek with Desert Firearms coming back at you. Uh, let's turn this this way a little bit. This is a uh, Remington 700 AAC SD, so it's got the threaded barrel, whatnot, 308 caliber. And um, as you can see, what we've done here is we've inletted this with Badger bottom metal, and it's a Hogue over molded again. This is the um, Accuracy International magazine with a snap cap in it, so you can see. Uh, the reason we're taking this video is because we've had a customer send us a rifle that's had some issues. So the big thing that I want to get down in there that's kind of hard to see, maybe tilt this up a little bit like that. See if you can get down in there and see that actual feed ramp. Probably not. Let's take the rifle, turn it up like this, and let's look at it from here. So this is the big part. So we'll turn a little light on. So up in there you see that is an unmodified action that has not been dremeled and touched. There's approximately, you know, 0 0.20 quarter of an inch gap in where the action overhangs the bottom metal. Like I said, Badger bottom metal, 308 AI factory mag. So let's go ahead, set this all back down like this. We're even going to do this one-handed to show you how it fits in here. So clicks into place, right? Okay, now you get down in there. Look at that beautiful untouched feed ramp. You can see it nice and shiny in there. So the snap cap fits in there, feeds, bolt closes, bolt opens, brown gets kicked out, mag drops out. Shiny feed ramp, no modifications. Stock action, no modifications. No modifications required to inlet a 308 action into a stock with 308 bottom metal and magazine at all. Anyone that tries to convince you that they have to take a Dremel and alter your action is feeding you a line of crap and has no business touching your guns. So, do you have any questions? Give us a call. Desert Firearms, www.desertfirearms.com. You'll find all our shop information there.